then. Oh. This is the other room. Okay. Why did they have to make this so far apart? What? Just so long, boring. How are we doing for oil? Oh, damn. Okay. I'm still not sure what we needed that meat for. It's not going to fix anything. It's probably used to feed something, keep it happy. And the use look like machine parts. Got a rug. Carpet. It's parts. Wait, what? This is where we woke up, isn't it? And we died. Don't know how we got here, but this is where we woke up. Can we... Maybe we have to, like, cook it in something. I'm not all too sure why we need to. So this, I do believe, is a machine room. So we're looking for parts in here that could be sort of related to fixing things. I mean, these cogs look like they might be needed, but they don't think they'll do anything. Pipes can't be picked up. Nothing in here seems to be able to be picked up. Anything in there that looks like we could get around to it? I don't even know why we have a wooden crank. Solid metal in good shape. I'm beginning to think Agrippa lied. He said there was all the tons of, not well, maybe not tons, we said there's machine parts in all of the rooms, or in at least a lot of rooms. And I haven't found a single machine part in any of these rooms, in the chancle. Yes, I'm still calling it the chancle. So, maybe it's not in here. Maybe we should just write off, well, check off this room and just rule out this and say there's nothing to be found in there probably back to the nave have another look around oh game don't crash on me now good don't you be crashing it's not what we need none of these oh Oh, it's just a tinder box. Why is it called a tinder box? It's like a tinder cylinder. I mean, if you're going to call something a box, at least make it box shaped. It's like calling the Xbox the X cylinder. Yeah, I don't know either. I'm not sure what I'm talking about. Eh, nothing in here that up, why not? Oh, what was that? Another tinder box. So I haven't got enough of those already. Wait, no, just scenery. More scenery. Hmm. Okay. Bread. We need the bread. It's a rather 
dark shade of red. If we just walked in here and the door just slammed shut and wouldn't open, then fuck. We'd be done with this playthrough. Uh, I guess we can go back to Agrippa. The oracle of all things in this. What are we supposed to use the tar on? Oh. Oh. Hello. What have we got here? Got a box. Hey. Oh, there you go. Maybe this will open the door now? Maybe? Oh wait, no, levers upstairs. Boom, got it. Thought I had something on the wall. Like, oh, I don't know. A spider. Which have all disappeared. Which is slightly worrying. Right. This room? Nope. One of them won't budge. That'll be that one. So this one. Gonna need more oil eventually as well. Lever one. Up. And up. Nope, maybe not then. Oh, refill worth of oil. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's something with the levers where they don't work if you stand too close to them and it doesn't give them room to move up properly. Not all too sure why, but. Politely asked me to leave. Uh, nope, that way. I'm terrible with sensor direction. I've decided that shovel's replaced itself. It is good to see you, Agrippa. See, this is a good. Agrippa's actually a really cool guy for like 200 years old or however. You'd think he'd be all grumpy from being strung up, but you know, he's actually very nice to you. Okay, right, what we got in here? Oh. This is an interesting arrangement. <sighs> right. There are quite a few things you said about torture. I had figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The humans all have had all have a very similar approach to dealing with the physical pain and terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of re restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creature can break out in its fits of violence when their strength exceeds their expected prowess. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be a problem. 
but it will also hinder the effect I am after. The right steps to, to take are, therefore, to restrain while the victim is still dazed, proceed by presenting the form of torture you are about to apply, and then continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient as it will trigger itself into greater fear simply by imagining it. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage as it will prove mo more efficient if the process can be sustained. Also apply the pain in doses if not, if possible, with breaks to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce the vitae and saturate the blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield maximum effect. If the victim doesn't have behave as expected, it is likely that all will be done for naught. Will be for naught. 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 Before this happens, feed them the amnesia drink and try later. Alright, next one. Nothing. Top draw, you did not. You did not disappoint. Oh, another one of these fellas. Is it you, my love? I miss the most, or is it perhaps myself? I know what I have become. I am not blind. I am a monster to them. A demonic sultan perched on a dark mountain top. There is little I can do to redeem myself. The Black Eagle fears me, and after Napoleon's defeat, it is only a matter of time before they will demand my head on a platter. I have to remove myself from this land. This time it shall... It must work... If I can't return home now, I shall perish. Well, that's nice. I've been taught how to torture people. You didn't learn that from me, you learned it from amnesia. If anyone asks. Oh, we got oil. Good. Well, there doesn't appear to be much more in here, really, so. Might as well skedaddle. Hello? Oh god. The kidnapper sat on her knees with her hands tied behind her back. She felt her hands being lifted and her body followed. Her shoulders gave way to the weight of her own body and cracked loudly. The suspended woman cried hysterically as the men contemplated their next step. That sounds horrible. Jesus Christ. Oh. A chunk of orb. Only five more. I've just realized we've been... <laughs> this episode's been going on for absolutely ages. So I'm going to call it here. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Okay, welcome back to Amnesia the Dark Descent. We've just recovered one piece of orb from in there. And there's five more, and there appears to be a few more doors, so there might be more in there. Okay. In here, there is... Hello. Hello. Some guy being sawed apart. Is there a piece? I don't see a piece. Oh, there he is. What is this, then? <laughs> Let's have a gruesome story. The rapist hanged upside down, his tears soiled with blood flunging, flood flung, <laughs> flooding from his belly. The sore between his legs had lodged itself in the hip and wouldn't move any further. The men stepped back and waited for the victim to drain. That sounds fucking horrible. <laughs> Jesus Christ, whoever wrote... Oh my lord. How would you survive that long? When you die of, like, sheer pain. Well, I... You'd think you would. Apparently not. Is 
There's no more doors in here by the looks of it, so I don't think there's going to be any more um, any more pieces. What have we got? What have we got. Um, don't have anything that looks like it could be used to help us. Oh, there is that door. I completely ignored that one. Let's have a look in there. And there'll be three more, I assume, in the other big door across from Agrippa. See where this is going. That's horrible. Of course. We are dealing with monsters here. Why torture them though? That's my question. And it's not, if you already know what they did, why do you need to make them suffer more? I mean, you might as well just throw them away or execute them, but you don't. Oh, I'm not going to enjoy reading this. The arsonist kept crying. The arsonist kept crying as he was slowly lowered on and off the impaler. It didn't take much to break him. They had meant for him to die, but the torture was working beyond their expectations. It wasn't the method; it was the arsonist. He was different from the others. They could make him they could make him forget again. Oh, wrong one. Is there a, nothing else in there worth looking at, I don't think. Bunny hop down, skip gleefully down the halls of Brandenburg Castle. isn't really what you want to be hearing right now, I guess. Whoops. Thought that was oil. Can we combine these? They won't stay together. Maybe just put these, like, individually in the, uh, orb holder thing. So now we go into the other torture rooms. Wait, what? I don't remember this. Car wooden crank. I like how you have no shadow, but the crank over here does. But that was worth it. Can we attach anything to it? Have a bucket or no? Oh well. Next room. Yes, me again. Go to the choir. I know. The remaining one pieces can be found in the choir. Okay then. Let's check in here first. Tender box. Note. Ah. Look, I don't know what this is. If you want to read it, pause. Pause. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm so lazy. It's just I'm tired. And, yeah. No one ever really pays attention to those if we're being realistic. I mean, like, by now I would have forgotten completely what I just read. Sounds like there's a monster somewhere. Chains shaking. Ah, I can't listen to this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 15th of August, 1839. The blood wards are failing. Got a cutscene? The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Whoa. Hurry. No time to spare. You have to kill what? another. Alexander is a knife. I don't want to kill someone. No. Save yourself. 
is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry. Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Take the man. Cut the lines. Cut the flesh. Watch the blood spill. Let it come. This is really grim. That's really fucking dark. Oh, can I open it up? We leave. Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. This is fucking grim. Uh, hopefully there's not another one. What's this? Doesn't say, it normally tells you what they are. Oh. Yeah. That's really grim, because, like, oh. Jesus Christ. This is disturbing. Do you have the dagger? Oh, that would be creepy. If we still had the dagger, it's like, I thought it was a flashback, but it was real. But it's. Yeah. Considering you start off, you think Daniel's like a good person, but this is like how he's had to change and stuff. Or some. Whoa, what? This looks worrying. Oh, damn it. What are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours, but now. Whoa. No. Oh, ow, what? That guy hits fucking hard. Hide and wait. I would hide if I knew what I was... And if I knew I was going to hide from something. Okay, don't use the torch, the lantern even. That seems to attract him. Pick it up. That's the only thing I want them to add to this game. I don't want bug fixes. I don't want any sort of graphical improvements. I just want them to put a little dot where you're aiming. That would be so useful. Hug the wall, I'm guessing. <laughs> 